Hi Cancer, welcome to September 2014. Now in September, you may feel like you're being pushed and pulled in multiple directions simultaneously. You have the innate skill to change and adapt as needed. However, this push-pull energy is over the top, challenging your ability to be grounded. Balance is the key. Step back and do not react. Do not get caught up in the negative news or other people's drama. Your power is in how you love and nurture you. Create your own sacred space in your home or go out into nature and allow Mother Earth Gaia to heal you. So, as you know, August was very intense and the energies are all over the place. And because you're such a sensitive sign, you feel everything. It is utmost of importance that you take care of you first so that each day you are feeling effective. You're accomplishing what you need to get done and you're staying balanced. This is really important in this energy. Now, I actually like September because it seems to be um, very sweet and calm in comparison to August and prior months up until this point. October is going to be intense because we'll have two eclipses and Mercury will retrograde. Doesn't mean it's not a good month and we can't get things done. It just means it'll throw more curveballs at us, whereas September is not as uh, demanding. So... Um, Mercury enters Libra on the 2nd, so you go into September, and again, it really is about you creating that sacred space. You're focused in September here uh, with Mercury in this area, and then when the sun shifts into Libra in your home, in your sacred space, how you nurture you. This is a time to really look at that, you know, is how do I take care of myself? Do I eat really well? Do I sleep well? If I'm not sleeping, what can I do so that I, um, I get a better night's sleep? Let things go. Uh, have less caffeine during the day. And Venus enters Virgo on September 5th. And this is uh, about you know being involved in the community, being involved in uh, social media, being involved in travel, short distance travel. Now, we have the Pisces full moon on September 8th, and you're very much affected by the moon. Your ruling planet is the moon. So you feel the new moons, the full moons, you feel the cycles. And the moon affects the mass consciousness. The, the moon will uh, reveal how the masses are feeling. That's how important the moon is. It controls the tides. We're mainly fluid. It controls the fluid in our bodies. So... I love this Pisces full moon, and I really feel you will too. Pisces is a sister sign. Pisces um, is expanding your consciousness, and I really love this full moon. I see this as a money moon as well, because Saturn in Scorpio and Pluto in Capricorn are in harmony with this moon. And there's no challenges on the moon. Now Chiron is sitting next to the moon. Chiron acts like a wounded healer. Chiron is the asteroid between Saturn the past and Uranus the future. Chiron is coupled with the moon. And there can be a healing here for you. It may be in regards to your connection to source. It may be in regards to your spirituality, what you believe and what you've always believed. And now you, you may be getting validation from others, like, wow, you're really right. You know, you've been telling us this all along, and now I can see what you're saying. So you could be getting some sort of healing and validation in regards to your principles, your values, your ideals, your beliefs, and it will feel nourishing and nurturing. Let this Pisces moon heal you. Let this Pisces moon nourish you and nurture you. And this is a good time to launch. This is a good time to uh, make investments. I see this as a money moon. And if you want to make investments with this moon, um, you know, really look at what you're investing in. But I see this as a real winner. I like September. Um, and 
So this energy is healing you. And, and again, for you, Cancer, it's pouring positive energy into you. So any of your Cancer planets, your sun, your moon, your ascendant, any planets you have in Cancer, Pisces is nourishing you and nurturing you. And so is Virgo. Virgo sextiles you. And Virgo is the earth. And when you water the earth, everything grows. And so this is a lovely energy for you. This is an empowering energy for you. It can expand your consciousness. It can renew your faith in yourself and creator. It can also get you out networking with others, which is very good because um, you can see how effective you are by bringing what you know to the world, bringing your presence to the world, bringing your kindness to the world. And the world needs this now. It needs you. And I love this energy. I love this full moon. It is um, empowering. It is spiritual. It is uh, compassionate and it's love and the world needs love. So I really like this for you. Now, uh, Nep Venus is going to oppose Neptune on the 10th and Mars enters Sagittarius on the 13th and then we'll square Neptune on the 21st. So this is an energy to watch out for because Neptune represents levels of God consciousness that even our human mind can not understand. We use less than 10% of our brain. 90% of the human mind is unconscious. When we enter fifth dimension, higher consciousness, we will be using all of our brain. But right now we use less than 10%. And so when Neptune is opposing Venus and squaring Mars, we can believe the fantasy. We can believe what others tell us um, and we can get sloppy. And so if someone's promising you um, all kinds of uh, fabulous things on the 10th or the 21st, take a wait and see. I really love September, but if you wait a couple days, like to the 12th or to the 22nd, you'll have the clarity and know what's the truth and what's fantasy, where you want to invest and where you don't. And that's the test with Neptune. Neptune represents your highest ideals. It represents the ideal relationship for you, the ideal living location for you, the ideal job for you. It's about dreaming and creating. It rules the movie industry and the music industry. It has very little to do with reality or the step-by-step -step, uh, practical approach needed to get to those ideals, the ideal job. So it gives you the vision, but it doesn't give you the steps on how to get there. So you can get caught up in the vision and not look where you're going. And then you find yourself in something you don't really want to be in. So if you step back and don't make an investment on the 10th or the 21st and wait, you know, until the 12th and then again, wait until the 22nd, then you'll know exactly what's right for you where to put your energy, who to invest in, what to invest in, and what to avoid. Now, on the 22nd, that is a power day because Pluto, which has been retrograde, is going stationary direct. And for you, this is in the area of relationships, other people. The sun enters Libra that day on the 22nd, and we have Happy fall harvest in the northern hemisphere, happy spring in the southern hemisphere, and hello my Aussies and New Zealanders and everyone in the south, it's spring for you, yay! And then we have the Libra new moon on the 23rd and the 24th, depending on where you live on the planet. I like this moon too, and I think you will too. So it is in harmony with Mars, who's now in Sagittarius, and it is not being challenged by Pluto and Uranus. It has a, an irritating semi-square between Jupiter in Leo and Saturn in uh, Scorpio. And that's to remind you again is what really matters to you, Cancer? What's important to you? What do you need to feel safe and secure? And Saturn is in the area of your creativity, your creative self-expression, the area of romance, and your children. And so, you know, if you want to be available to other people 
and you want to be effective with your children or your lover or your spouse, you have to take care of you. You have to look at that mind, body, spirit connection. What are you doing to feed your mind, right? In the Virgo energy, it is about looking at um, how you use your mind to empower yourself, to empower your health. In the Libra energy, it is all about how you nurture yourself, how you take care of yourself. And the more you take care of yourself, the more you are available to other people. It's not the other way around. It's not going out to other people hoping they give to you what you need. It's you give to you what you need. You empower you, right? Libra rules your fourth house. You are the natural ruler of the fourth house, but Libra rules your fourth house. And so that's the area of your soul power, your inner power. And it is about pulling up that inner power and having a healthy relationship with your inner voice, your inner being. Do you trust that inner voice? Do you trust your instincts? You are one of the most psychic sensitive signs there is. That's why it's important for you to shut off the negative news, avoid negative people. Go into your shell if you need to. Do what's right for you. That's why you have that shell. It's to protect you from the crazies out here. It's to protect you from negative people. You are extremely sensitive and psychic and intuitive. And with that, you know, it's the razor's edge. The, the challenge with having those gifts is you feel everything. And so this is about you pulling your energy in and empowering you at the Libra moon so that when you're out, you feel effective. You're doing what you need to do and you're taking care of you. And when you take care of you, that energy goes out and reminds the rest of us, I got to take better care of myself. And so um, it's a good moon. You're going to like both these moons. And it is um, a good time for you to work on your home, you know, work on your garden, uh, move if you want to, buy a new property if you want to, do things that empower you and build your safety and security, which comes from inside of you. Okay. It comes from inside, internally. Now, Jupiter is going to trine Uranus. And I love this energy because it is positive. And for you, it's coming in the financial area. Uh, Jupiter is in your area of your talent, your ability, and your resources, and it's in harmony with Uranus. And Mars is in the area of your health, well-being, your work. So you're going to feel a boost of energy if you're taking care of yourself, if you are going into your sacred space and building your, your inner um, energies up, building your resources up, that you can take advantage of this fire energy coming in in the area of what you do in the world, your destiny in the world, your reputation in the world, how you uniquely contribute your contributions to the world. So once you focus that energy on yourself and build yourself up, then you can take advantage of this fire energy coming in um, in the latter part of September. So this energy will be on uh, September 21st through October 2nd. It goes exact on the 25th. Jupiter and Uranus are going to trine and, there, and Mars is now in Sagittarius, which is going to trine into Jupiter and Uranus and form a grand fire trine in your work, in your career, and in your money. So that's why I want you to really work on loving you and taking care of you so that by the 21st of September, the 22nd, you are ready. And especially at the Libra New Moon, launch on uh, into your career, your work, making more money, uh, feeling good so you can work more, focus more on the projects that thrill you, and you will see the reward, the financial reward, come in late September, October, and then into the fall season. This energy will be back again in February, and then again in June 2015. So the fire signs rule what you do in the world, what you love and value, building up your resources, and how you work. So you're very fiery when you work and you're very fiery in your determination to make a difference in the world. And the key is your balance, how you balance yourself. So don't burn the candle at both ends. Nourish and nurture you, build up your energy, and then go out 
and do what you're here to do and you will be unstoppable. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking, favoring, and sharing my podcast. You're so awesome, Cancer. Thank you for subscribing. You totally rock. Now, for those of you, you know, looking for love here in um, September, Pluto is moving direct in the area of relationships. And, um, you know, there is a potential for some relationship energy here, but I really see it more focused in what you love and value. I also see it focused in um, what you're doing in the world and uh, how you take care of yourself. I think the romance, for those of you looking for love, uh, it's, it's going to be more uh, as we move into Scorpio. That, that energy is going to light up for you. Now, anything can happen anytime, anywhere. This is what I'm seeing when I look at the solar chart. Money looks good. Your money is strengthening. Jupiter is working for you, but be patient because this energy is on for a year. So the more you take care of yourself, the more effective you are in the world, the more you're going to see your resources increase. But it does look good. And there could be a promotion coming in here for you as well. For those of you that work for other people or have your own business, your business can expand because you're taking better care of you and you're ready for more business. As well as because you're taking care of you and you're building up your foundation, you are more effective on the job and those in authority want to promote you. Health looks good. I see health increasing because Mars is going into Sagittarius um, on the 13th, and that rules the area of your health and well-being. So Mars can empower you to take off weight if, if some of you are looking to slim down a bit. Uh, it can also give you more energy to be more effective in your work. So this is a very positive energy for you. Your spirituality is growing by leaps and bounds. You are a deeply spiritual sign, and the Pisces full moon is going to, you know, incredibly connect you to your higher power and to your source. And you will feel that power in your life. The more you take time for yourself and love who you are, the more you're going to see how powerful and effective you are in the world. Now, I'm also offering an event on August 23rd on Google Plus at noon my time here in Denver and I have the link here for you I would love to see you there it is a free event and it's going to be based on my book love and the law of attraction money in the law of attraction peace in the law of attraction prosperity in the law of attraction and uh, we're gonna have a good time and I would love to see you there take care Lately I've been, I've been losing sleep Dreaming about the things that we could be But baby, I've been, I've been praying hard Said no more counting dollars, we'll be counting stars Yeah, we'll be counting stars Take that money, watch it burn, sing in the river the lessons I learned. Take that money, watch it burn, sing in the river the lessons I learned. Take that money, watch it burn, sing in the river the lessons I learned. Everything that kills me makes me feel alive. Lately I've been, I've been losing sleep. Dreaming about the things that we could be But baby, I've been, I've been praying hard Said no more counting dollars, we'll be counting stars Yeah, we'll be counting stars